In this video we'll be going over how to install and set up the remote camera access app called DMSS to your phone. First go to the Play Store or iTunes and search for DMSS. You can do this from your PC or directly from your phone. When you find the download link, click on the app and install to your phone. Google or iTunes may ask you to sign in to your account to continue to download. After the app downloads, click the app to open it. A pop-up will appear and ask you for permission to store photos in multimedia. Click Allow. After you allow the permissions, swipe the screen to the left several times. Being a first time user, it will ask you if you want to set up an account for the app. You can do this, but it is not necessary. If you'd like to, click on the arrow and follow the instructions to set up an account. If not, click the back button and select your location. This is very important to get correct because different locations have different functions for the app. Select Done when complete. You can now watch the short video clip or you can press skip to continue. It is now showing that you can slide the icons at the top to rearrange. You'll now see a login screen. This is going to be the login for the account if you set one up. Do not confuse this with a login for your cameras. In the top right you'll see a plus sign. This is where you'll add your cameras, your doorbells, or whatever you want to add to the app. Here you will see the different ways to add your item, either by scanning a QR code, entering an IP address, or an online search if you're on the same network. For this demonstration, we will select Scan. It will ask you if it's okay to use your camera, and you can select While Using This App. This will allow you to scan the QR code with your camera. Now on the main page of the NVR, or after logging in the NVR with your web browser, you can go to the top right to the QR code icon. To be able to use this feature, P2P must be enabled in your device. We can now scan the device serial number QR code on the right and press next. A list of devices will show up, and in this case we're going to select NVR because we are adding the recorder. Next, enter a device name and name it whatever you'd like. Enter your username and the device password. Go to the top and press Save. If you have entered the correct username and password, the video feeds will populate the screen. We'll now go over some of the functions on how to use the app. In the top left, you'll see an arrow that will take you to the home screen. On the home screen, on the top left, you'll see a four button icon. This will let you select between a list view and an icon view of your cameras under your device. You can switch at any time and choose whichever one you prefer. If you're in the icon mode, you can grab the icons and slide them and then choose the camera that you'd like to view in a single view. I will now go to the top left, press the back arrow, select a different camera. Select the back arrow, slide the icons over, choose a different camera. When I go back to the home page, above the device list, to the right, you'll see a play button. If you click that play button, it'll open all the cameras under the device list. I can then change how many preview windows with the little number icon. I can double tap a camera window to open up a single view. If I select the all play button from the device list and open up a single window, I can now swipe to the left or to the right and bring up the next camera as it will already be open. There is an icon that rotates the image or you can just flip your phone to landscape view. 
you'll see an SD or an HD button which stands for standard definition or high definition and this allows you to switch between the two. The camera icon allows you to take a snapshot of your current view. There's also a speaker button if your camera has audio and a microphone that allows two-way talk if your camera has a speaker. We will now go over how to set up remote notifications from the app. This will allow you to be alerted when one of the smart features are triggered. From the home screen you'll see the device list. Select the three dots to the right of the device and then select device details. Select multi-channel alarm subscription. You will see a slider button in the top that you'll slide to turn on and off. Once you turn it on, you'll see the smart features that you can select for each camera. Here I select Tripwire, which brings me up to the camera page, and I can choose which cameras I want to send me the notifications. After selecting what cameras, I'll click the back button at the top, and then I'll click the save button towards the bottom. Now my app is ready to send me notification. I just have to be sure that it's set up in the IVS section on the NVR. You'll see if I go back to the multi-channel alarm subscription, there will be a number for how many cameras for each smart feature that is selected. Again, I can toggle this on and off from the top button. You can also set the time range when you want your alarm notifications to be active. If you select the other alarms, you can see that there's a whole list of different items that you can choose. These will also have to be set up either in your camera or the NVR or whatever device you want to send your notifications. When your device sends you an alarm notification, you'll see a notification on the top and also how many notifications were alerted to the app on the icon. You'll see when you pull the notification down on an Android phone, the device name and camera sent me the alarm with the date and time. When you tap on the notification or open the app, it will bring you to the home screen. You can then tap on the message and this will bring up the devices that have active alerts. You can click on the device and then select the alert that you want to view. It will show you a snapshot of the active alert and then you can click view video for a small playback portion of the video. While the video is playing, you can turn your phone to landscape view or you can use two finger stretch on the screen to get a digital zoom. Be aware when you use the app and you're not in Wi-Fi, you will use data. There will be a warning that pops up that lets you know that you are not connected to Wi-Fi. At the bottom you'll see a me icon. This is if you set up an account for the app, all the features that it has. In this section, we'll go over how to bring up the recorded video. We select playback, select a blank screen, and then you'll select the device, and then select what camera you want to review. I'll then double tap the screen to get a single view. When the camera loads, you'll see the playback timeline at the bottom. This will be a 24 hour period if you're recording continuously. You can drag your timeline down to the time that you want to preview. If you drag it down to the blue line, this is where the playback will start. You can stretch out or shrink the timeline with the two finger pinch. When you stretch the timeline out far enough, this will allow you to see a minute by minute playback and allow you a more precise start time. If you click the X icon above the toolbar, this allows you playback speed. You can see you can adjust it at the top with the plus sign and minus sign. This will speed up the playback or slow it down. You can use the pause button to freeze the video, or you can use the camera icon to take a snapshot. If you click the date above the timeline, you can select a different type of playbacks if they are set up in your recorder. You can see here we have selected all, but if I just wanted to see the motion detection, I would select motion. I currently have tripwires and intrusion alarms on my recorder, so I will select smart.
You will also see the dots for each day that has a recording. After selecting Smart and pressing OK, you'll see that the timeline now will only show when the trip wires were activated. These will be shown by a yellow marker on the timeline. You may have to stretch out the timeline to be able to see where they're at. You can see that all the general recordings are now gone and only the activated trip wires are showing up. It's important to know when you open up the app and see login now. This is not for your NVR cameras. This is for the app login if you have set up an account. As of now, it's not a requirement to have an account to use the app. To bypass this and log into your NVR, go to the bottom and click Home and it will take you to the device list. Or you can proceed and set up an account for the app.